How's everybody doing? Welcome back to Ass Hat Podcast here on YouTube. Yeah, Cody, I know it's a comic, man. I'm sorry. You know, I love comics. You know that's one of my big passions. So, you know, this going to be, even though I try to only put out one comic video a day, I'm going to end up eventually having like a whole month of comic videos. But what this is, this is the Marvel Saga, the official history of the Marvel Universe, issue one, only cost a buck. This is from December of 1985. Wow. I thought it was a little bit later. What this was is Marvel basically publishing this series that was going to be basically the timeline for the universe. And show you chronological what happens. We got the Fantastic Four forming, Wolverine, the Guardian, Ant Man, and all that. And it reprinted a lot of really good, a lot of good material. Like this one right here, it reprints, it has stuff from Fantastic Four 1, 2, 271, and 273, Tales of Astonish. 27 and 44, Avengers 2, 20, uh, 227, Alpha Flight issues 2, 3, and 12, The Thing issue 1 and 10. Excerpt material written by Stan Lee, Larry Lieber, H.E. Huntley, John Byrne. And then the artists, we got Jack Kirby, John Byrne, Don Heck, Ron Wilson, Sal Buscema, Art Simic, Joe Sennett, Dale Garris, Hillary Barter, and Brett Breeden. And like I said, it's just a timeline. There's the cave, there's the, the Celestials, there's a Rawhide Kid, Kid Colt, Knight Rider, and Two Gun Kid. Union Jack, Sergeant Fury. Look, now they don't say his name, but that's Conan. And then the you know the World War II stuff, and how you know, Captain America got frozen. Namor lost his memory. Uh, Doctor Strange, you know uh, Matt Murdock, Jean Grey, Donald Blake, Peter Parker. They didn't credit Kurt uh, Ditko, huh? And it's the end of the thing when how you know him and Reed Richards got together. Gormu. Them going up and a lot of because the Fantastic Four number one is the start of the Marvel Age, the Marvel Silver Age. Um, I'm not the biggest FF fan. I really enjoy the John Byrne run. I like the art from the Kirby years. Sometimes the writing ain't that great. But I understand, you know, it's very important to the Marvel Universe. It's just showing you know, all this stuff. The Mole Man. This is uh, out at John Byrne. It's somebody, you know, uh, blah, 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 what's his name? James McDonald Hudson, and he's the guardian of Indicator, helped form Alpha Flight, which ends up, you know, recruiting Wolverine. There's Dr. Hank Pym shrinking as the Ant Man. And, you know, that was, that's the first. Now, I do not have a full run. I do love these covers. Look at that. That great cover. I got a handful here. So this is this special X-Men's origin issue of the Marvel Saga. Professor X, Magneto, Cyclops, plus the origin of Thor, plus the Fantastic Four and all this. So this one. I don't see Ditko listed, but I bet you it should be kind of here. There's Cyclops shooting his laser eyes. And he uses panels and writing. I like these because they were a little bit more than average comic. Back in the average comic, it was probably like 55 cents, 65 cents, maybe 75. These are a little bit more, but there's so much to read here. It's history. I'm a history. I love history. Juggernaut. There's you know Young Storm, the uh, Amu Farouk. Magneto and find out Magneto was in Auschwitz. You know, and these were all found my local comic shop. Um, here was Haven in Brookhaven here, and the cheap ends they had these. And the day I bought these. I got them for extremely, extremely cheap because I was buying so much. Guys, like I'll cut you a deal. And you can see they got a little damage here and there. There's Lucifer, the alien that drops the thing on Professor X and crushes his spine where he can't walk again. Uh, this guy, Jack O'Diamonds, who I, you don't hear anything about him. Here. Look, Corsair, Havoc. That's a uh, Cyclops' father and his brother. Dr. Donald Blake, you know, and the stone man from Saturn, he gets the cane and becomes Thor. And Odin. Ant-Man is actually Ant-Man, so just Hank Pym, you know, he designed his outfit. Dr. Doom teaming up with Submariner to take on the Fantastic Four. And he steals the, what's the hell, the Baxter building. And show him the covers and stuff. And I think it's just... And now there is a Marvel Essentials that reprints the first 12 issues of this, which is cool, but it's black and white, and it's out of print, and you can get these cheap. These are, you can, 
you shouldn't have to pay more to cover price release. I don't think any of these have any collector value, but I like this. Interchange, Jonah Jameson, Spider-Man's life will never be the same. Iron Man's origin, including the first explosion meeting with Rhodey. That's War Machine. Thor, the Hulk, Fantastic Four, Ant-Man, Egghead, and much, much more. Issue 7, there's you know, Iron Man is. Oh, Steve Ditko's listed. Good, Mary Smith is too. That's the original Iron Man armor. Which, was it China or was it Korea? Well, she probably China. And there's Rhodey. And to me, this was a great way for me to get, to get a lot of this history because these there was not you did not have trades and reprints and all this stuff back then. You had I mean the reprints were Marvel '70s stuff that I couldn't get hold of, and the only reprint tile they really had was Marvel Tales, which I bought because I love Spider Man. Is that the not the Atlanteans, the Lemurians? I think that's the Lemurians, the other race that lives underwater. And Ant Man, Egghead, Thor, and look, Hulk. Back when they're trying to figure out a way to control Hulk, and they had the ray that would change him back and forth. Which didn't last. Alicia Masters with Thing there. Spider Man and Ant Man look at this great, great Ditko art. And confronting J. Jonah Jameson. Oh, look at that back cover, man. That is a wicked ass cover. And I might have a few more of these laying around somewhere. This is the stack I found. This is issue 11. See today's X Factor in the first battle together when they were the original X Men feature of Magneto. Plus the awesome order joint of the Molecule Man. Okay, Molecule Man. He basically, you found out years later, was half of an unformed cosmic cube, and the Beyonder was the other half. Great character. There they are, that's X Factor, you know, Marvel Girl, Jean Grey, Beast, Hank, Hank something. I can't remember his last name now. Angel, which is Warrington, Warren, Warrington, or something like that. Cyclops, you know, Scott, Nice Man, Bobby Drake. And there they are, it's the original X Men. Steve Ditko, yes, Steve Ditko R will be in here. And this is that first issue when they fight Magneto. And Iron Man with his golden armor, he switched every painted gold, so he wouldn't scare people as much. Uh, Jane Foster ends up becoming uh, Thor later on, when Thor was a female for a while there, which was an interesting idea. Then we get, this is the cool thing, okay. Reed, Reed's father, Nathaniel Richards, invented a time machine which he journeyed to alternate Earth, and the year 3000, Nathaniel's descendant on ever discovered part of time machine and started operating. He, became, he went back in time was Pharaoh Ramatut. Pharaoh Ramatut, at this time, was also had a version of him called the Scarlet Centurion, which was Archfoe of the Squadron Supreme, which was an uh, alternate dimensions D, uh, Marvel's version of the Justice League. Kang the Conqueror and Immortalis. I keep on hearing that Kang is going to show up in some of the Marvel stuff sometime soon, which I cannot wait. Oh, oh man, the Cobra and the Serpent Society. Oh, much of a surprise, Johnny Storm Human Torch finds himself locked in combat with all people. Captain America, the original Captain America was the greatest costume hero of World War II. Three other men took on the role of Captain America since the original vanished towards the end of the war in Europe, but the last of them has not been seen since the 50s. Narrowly defeated his star spangled opponent, Torch discovers the man under the mask is not the original Captain America either, but Johnny's old foe, the acrobat. And this is when, there's the van, this is when Hank Pym used the Pym particles to make himself bigger and became Giant Man. There's Wasp, the space phantom who makes the Avengers think Hulk's turned on him and all that. The Watcher, Uatu. And this, oh, this tells it right here. This is when he got hit by the rays, Miracle Man, and he tells it the Beyonder and all that. Malcolm Man was just so proud. And this is you know, when Iron Man got the red and yellow armor that most people know him for. I actually, I like this armor, and I like there was a red and silver, like around issue 200, I really enjoy. Uh, here we go, Dick Hart, the Vulture, and what, Betty Brandt. Oh, the Hate Monger. Sergeant Fury and his Howling Commandos. The Hate Monger, who turned out to be a clone of Hitler. There's some more covers. Continuity corner. And look at that back cover. Alright. This is issue 12. And there's like 30 something issues. Matter of fact, I'm going to look it up real quick. Give me a few seconds here, folks. I'm going to step over to the trusty laptop here. Put in Marvel Saga. Because I want to read all these now. I read almost the entire run as a kid when it was coming out. I bought it pretty much every month. But I don't have, there's 25 issues, they're missing one. Shit. Let's just see what they're missing. 
application one, two, three. It came out everyone, so 25 issues, that's a little bit over two years. Uh, the, okay, Shaker 240, that's not bad. I don't mind, I wouldn't mind paying that. Issue 22 is the one they're missing. Who oh, I got in the stack? No, no. Yes, let me just keep you ahead. No, I don't. Well, shit. In this issue, the awesome saga of Captain America, plus the X-Men's first battle, where Freedom Forces Blob, yes, Blob at the time, the Brotherhood of Mutants had started, gotten, like, working for the government's Freedom Force, and it kind of, like, as long as they work for them, their crimes were forgiven. And look, there's the, the Hulk fighting all the different Avengers. I got Ditko! Hell yeah! The Mole Man. One second here, folks. There's Odin. X-Men fighting the Blob. The Mandarin. Fucking Electro. Really good picture of Namor there. And that's when he throws the thing in the water that defrosts him and becomes Captain America. Oh, man. The fucking um, the Enforcers. Black Knight. Cap getting defrozen frozen and finding out it's not World War II era anymore and he tells his origin. I love that. That's John Byrne. Love that shield. So, yeah. Really good history lessons and all that. Look at that back. Oh, look at that dick of art. I got three more, so I'll go through these really quick. Okay, this is the No Holds Barred first battle between Fantastic Four and the Fright Four, which is Sandman, Pace Pop, Pete, Medusa, and the Wizard. Then, then Inhumans. This is issue 17. X-Men versus the Avengers. Doctor Strange. Really good Doctor Strange. Medusa is where she went back to being a hero in the origin of the Inhumans, which they're getting a little bit better now. And they had that short-lived Inhumans TV show that no man, I know where to watch. Oh, Kazar. Okay, I was like, who the fuck is this? Kazar. And that back cover. Okay, we got two more. This is issue 18. We're getting near the end of the run here. X-Men vs. Zemo Mutants, the final battle. Featuring the power of the Stranger. Captain Zero's Death Duel with Zemo. First Shield Adventure. And there's the Stranger. There's Scarlet Witch and Quicksilver and all them. And Scarlet Witch was a villain for quite a while. Nick Fury is Howling Commandos. And taking on Hydra, Baron, Wolfgang von Strucker. Some more Ditko art. Oh, love me some Ditko art. That is... Out of all of the uh, Silver Age Marvel arts, I mean, I love Kirby, but it was weird. As a kid, I preferred Kirby to Ditko. And part of it's because Kirby got all the hype. Oh, Jack Kirby, Jack Kirby. You heard a lot of hype, but I can remember, you know, the ads, seeing the ads, and I was getting a little bit later after they came out in DC Marvel's Kirby is coming. And when he went over there for that short run. But as I got older, I preferred Ditko to Kirby. And he hasn't done as much. The Spider Slayer. That the Crusher Creel, the Absorbing Man. That's one that I haven't surprised I haven't showed up in a movie yet. And then the back cover. And then we got the last issue I have. And it's stained and everything. Hawkeye, New Avengers, Thor vs. Loki, Spider Man Feature Green Goblin, Doctor Strange. This, there's some Ditko art. And you got, got some Thor taking on the Absorbing Man. Some good Ditko art. And see, that's the thing. That's clear. I remember her showing up forever. You didn't know who her name was. Giant Man and all the Avengers leaving and Hawkeye ends up joining. What is this? That's oh, Hulk stuff. Real, look at that. Look at that. Green Goblin. Oh, man. And that cover in Ultimate's first appearance, that black cover that's, you know, oh, God, these are really damaged. Daredevil versus Name. Is that Wally Wood era? I think that's Wally Wood era. And that's the last one I got. But, you know, just a cool little series. If you're into history and there's, let's say there's 25, you're going to pay a couple bucks a piece. And I'm sure the one issue they're missing on my contract should not be that hard to find. So I hope you all enjoyed that. Remember, if you did, give me that thumbs up, leave a comment, subscribe, all the other bullshit. Talk to everybody later. Bye-bye.